Yeah, yeah. Don't be a damn go get some money. Don't be a damn go get some money. Don't be a damn go get some money. Go get some money. You out with that? Just bought a stick in the can with a hundred. Give me a lick in the can with a twenty. Shit, I was wishing they came with a hundred. I ain't standing on some nigga that done. We the one who drive the word to the country. Pop down the road, he sent him no money. I heard he sitting that bill like a tank. Plug trying firm and know we gon' run. Scratching at the door, you know that I'm not. Back on the block, got whip, got drop. Drove on the curb, they heard we were high tech bird out the sky, make it jump out the pack. I know I ain't gon' start till I jump out the drop. Give me a lick and I bought me a wife. Bought me a bitch, let the clothes to that. Dream about the out clothes on my hat. I don't want your word, let's you ready to ride. How many bo- And they killing the op that you don't know. But when the ops kill somebody you know, it's uh oh, man, the bullshit, man. These niggas chicken. What the fuck are you talking about? Nigga, if you with this murder shit, then that's what it is. Anybody can get it. What the fuck makes any ce a celebrity better than a mother? That that's the whole so nice. Are you serious? Oh man, he get what the fuck is crazy about it? If you believe him in his music, this nigga killed a lot of niggas. Did you know that becoming a rapper is the number one cause of death amongst young black men? Have you ever wondered why the incarceration and murder of rappers is so accepted and somewhat celebrated amongst today's society? Today we're going to explore an example of this phenomenon. Welcome to The Rap Trap, hosted by A.O. Conseco. Now, you know what this Rap Trap shit, you know what it started off of? It was started off of the fact that niggas don't get killed until they blow up in music, until they get a name. This is a common event in every city in the United States. The nigga doesn't get murdered until he gets the buzz. When he gets the buzz, now niggas start taking extra offense to what the fuck he got going on. Welcome back to the Rap Trap, man. I'm A.O. Conseco, fearless leader of A.O. Nation and the Men 2 movement. And this is, in hindsight, uh, for y'all who don't know, in hindsight, we're looking back at the situation. In hindsight, in this little Marlow situation, driving around in this unique car, which a lot of artists are guilty of. The latest one we just saw was NBA Youngboy. White boy just walked slap down on him. Just walked slap down on him. Hey, NBA Youngboy, right there to the window. If it was anybody else, he would just, uh, uh, bitch, sit for, and they got out of there. They did the same thing to Uzi Bird. Walked right up on him. Um, obviously you saw it was six nine, but your car, your car. This is why the rap trap, just being aware of the rap trap is so important. Once you understand that me becoming an artist increases my chances of being murdered in the street by a street nigga, being arrested, being caught in a false rape, uh, situation, it is, all that goes up. So with your fame and your money, all of these things go up also because now you're a fucking target and everyone knows it. The issue with it, other than those obvious issues, is a lot of times you don't even have what the fuck they think you got. The car is rented, you know, it's like it's it might as well be rented because like the, the you're not gonna make the payments. You know what I'm saying? Like you, they gonna repo the motherfucker. Like you're not going to your career isn't gonna last long enough for you to keep that car. And even if you pay it cash, you're gonna have to sell that motherfucker because you're gonna go broke. 
the fact that you even bought that car as you just came in the game says that you're going to go broke. That's, that says that you're ignorant with your money and a fool and his money shall soon part ways. So these motherfuckers just got a target on you. Everybody, the hoes, which the hoes looking at you like a target makes you a target for niggas. Like you're in the fucking way. Because now when motherfuckers say, are we going to hit a fuck with Marlo? You can't even say, oh yeah, fuck nigga. Oh, fuck yeah, rap nigga. And then Marlo posed to have been a real street nigga. So, ain't no, like, if you a real street nigga, let, we, let's just get this shit understood. Let me finish out this point. Niggas not being able to compete with you automatically lets them know we have to get this nigga the fuck out the way. Ain't no amount of dope, ain't no amount of money that we have that's gonna be able to compete with him. Even no amount of money that we got gonna be able to compete because this nigga got the fame, the money, like everything these hoes want. Imagine being, you know, one of the top niggas in the city and shit like that really having your way out here and now a nigga is just swooping all in your mix. Like that, that shit will drive a nigga go to the Patreon. I, I showed y'all that video of the retarded nigga. The, I ain't had no gun, but it was, it was a brake truck at the gas station. I ain't had no gun, but... If I would have had a gun, I would have robbed them bitches, man. <laughs> 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 the cameraman like, you, you ever going to die too? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was going to die for that money. I need that money. <laughs> it's going to be a nigga like that, that they send out that bitch to turn the lights out. It's gonna be a nigga like that that they get to come out the side of this bitch like die hard. The, the Draco with the titties on it that everybody know what I'm saying? Or the, the, the stick with the titties on it that everybody's scared, you know, the niggas wanna. Everybody's scared, to, nobody, everybody flexing with this bitch, but nobody gonna shoot this motherfucker at no fucking body. But you, they gonna get you, the retarded nigga, on any bitch out. I'ma go and do it. And they gonna give you whatever the fuck you need. And all that shit is explained in the Patreon video. Go look at that shit. But those are the niggas that you gotta stay away from. But if you in the city moving around, and everybody that look at you got a target on you, every time motherfuckers see you, they calling, your location is just everybody know. And then motherfucker don't even gotta. What call in? You know what call in. That's his call. Everybody know everybody call. Like you won't. And it's just. So. Why does this happen? Why is it that. As soon as a nigga get a buzz. He gets murdered. Here's the facts of it. If you're a real street nigga. If you really like that for real. And like little baby and everybody saying that little baby had to come pull little Marlo out the street and all that shit like that. It's niggas who you fucked over. You've not been in the street and not brushed nobody the wrong way. Somebody's been if you a real street nigga, like you didn't had to take something from somebody. But you know, that's a whole nother thing too. Like what, what do niggas consider a real street nigga? Like, like I said, that word was so fucking vague because I always felt like there needs to be requirements with that word. Like how many ounces of coke do you need to have sold? How many, how many pounds of weed? How many licks? And when I say licks, I don't mean you burglarizing a home like a fucking smoker. I mean actually, 
kicking the door and laying niggas down. And I don't know. Get the screwdriver. No, nah, I'm talking about nigga. Bitch! And come through that bitch. What the fuck it is, nigga? You know what I'm saying? How many, you know what I'm saying? Like how many, how many straps do you need to be had? How many niggas do you need to be murdered? You know what I'm saying? Like there is no, you could be out in the street and be a junkie and you a real street nigga. Most you did was sold some, guy, some gas at the gas station. That's it. But you a real street nigga. And you know it. Like, you know it. Like, and the, the bitch know it. She know that you don't, like, she the one who gonna put, you know, niggas know too. You know your cousin don't do shit. Like, he don't do nothing. Like, but he a real street nigga. He out there with them niggas. But he steady selling out the same goddamn ounce. Half zip. You know what I'm saying? I did bitch serving to get high, that's it. But he can sit, but that's 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 something different. But if you are a real street nigga and you realize this bitch having your way, you didn't you didn't hold a nigga. Like it's somebody who came out this bitch that was not cut like that and you just you in it did mine. Go on, go on here. No gun. He had the gun. Go on here, man. Get mine. Go on here now before I slap the fuck out you. Like I was saying, man. Huh? Yeah, these, these niggas out there, bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, you didn't did some shit to niggas. And it could have been five years ago. You know what I'm saying? And just being in the street, it damn that dictates that you going you gonna have to, you know, rep your side. And so you enemies with niggas on the, you gonna have ops. You have to have ops in the street. You can't be friend with everybody. You gotta be, have somebody to say, fuck them niggas. Nah, you know what I'm saying? You gotta have somebody that when you get mad, I don't oh, like these fuck niggas shit up, boy. Real talk. It is, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like you gotta have some niggas that you beefing with just to be in the street. Like you gotta, who is your ops? You know what I mean? Like, y'all niggas ain't beef with nobody. Why y'all niggas pussy? You know what I'm saying? Like, now nah, we killed all of Shut the fuck up. But, so now, you get something going, niggas gotta come, cause now it's like, you have a platform, you got way more resources. Niggas can look at it like this, like, nah, I'm, I'm cutting the head off the snake. If I don't whack this nigga, they gonna have more money to, you know, fund they fucking arm and they gonna wipe us the fuck out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut the head off. It's so many ways, like, yo, niggas murdering you can be political. And it don't matter if niggas call it a assassination or a fucking homicide or a murder, you dead. You dead. And niggas don't understand how permanent that shit is. That shit ain't nothing but a lyric in a rap song until you really laying down. Ah, shit, fuck, man, wake up! Niggas slapping you, trying to keep you alive and shit like that. Keep you awake. Oh, go, go, call the ambulance! Call the ambulance! And now it's real. Now it's real. And, and it's so fucked up, dog. Some niggas understand after being hit, they understand, oh no, this ain't this ain't it. But have to continue with the same rhetoric rhetoric as far as musicians that have been shot. And like, man, I'm man, hell fuck no. Nah, I'm I'm talking about death way too lightly. I'm talking about shoe niggas way too lightly. This shit needs to be spoken with a way more serious tone. Say, I shouldn't be talking about how um, 
I'm gonna air a nigga out with the stick and then talk about my diamonds in the next goddamn ball. Like, this traumatic situation needs a song all its own. It needs an album all its own. This is nothing to play with. Niggas talking about a hundred round drum. One of these motherfuckers changed my life. But because you're in the rap trap, you can't even really voice this. You can't even let motherfuckers know that you scared to death now. It was all playful. It was just, fuck them niggas. Nah, all, it was just talk. But now, not only did niggas try to kill you, but you 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 went through something. Th that was that. You went into a trance-like state, thinking that you were gonna die. All of a sudden, the rap shit. The bitches, the call, the flexing on Instagram, and all of the shit you cared about, it didn't matter anymore. You were childlike. Niggas play with that ball. I'm going I'm to have a nigga like a, a, a newborn baby that's naked and full of blood, uh, uh, in a pool full of blood and shit like that. And that shit is all fucking funny until you actually... Are bleeding, you shit on yourself, you pissed on yourself, and you're bleeding out. You were that close to death, and you understood at that moment like, this shit is bullshit, this shit ain't nothing to play with. But if you're going, and then of course after we recover, you get back on the dope and shit like that. It's like, yeah, that shit was. That's that's a big part of it. That dope will allow those demons to come back because that's all that they want to do. They wanted to. Just, you was high then. You was high when you got shot. Now that you high again, the demons want to try again. Their job is to steal, kill, and destroy. And you won't know till you get to the other side that you see them just laughing at you, just the demon face just laughing hysterically. They got you. They tricked you. And then you find out that you weren't thinking because you were under the possession of a demon. Every time that you rolled up, every time that you open the seal every time that you um, put a line down there, any time that you were getting ready to do the draw, that was the ritual, that was the seance, that was you telling the demon to come into you. The shit that I'm telling y'all, the shit that I be speaking to y'all, you don't even really have to grasp it. You should, it'll be smart of you would but it may not even come become real to you until you're in the worst position whether it be jail whether it be you and you in court nigga then knocks you unconscious or you dead and then everything just kind of comes into the light it's like that's why I did that this is why this happened. Niggas play with their life. For likes. For likes. If you don't understand at this point that this rap game as it stands today is a modern day Roman cathedral 
gladiator shit. When you go into the 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 the, the um the fucking um Roman fucking game shit, like when they held the uh, the shit where you fucking fight lions and shit like that. That's what this shit is. It is a blood sport. After I, I gotta talk about the fucking the seal, the uh, the uh, what's we call it seals, the um, it's five o'clock in the morning. Um, pop smoke sales went through the roof. How they, but fuck the sales. My album dropped. Fuck the album. There was a hologram show after his death. At some point, we gotta start looking at this shit like, man, who in the fuck is profiting off of the death of these artists? And I've said this, and I got that video up on the Patreon also, showing the picture of Leo Cohen and, and the, 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 all the fucking uh, white men that are behind the, the music industry. These motherfuckers ain't never seen it for as violent as this shit is. Even in UFC, the motherfuckers who talk about this shit, these motherfuckers are ex-boxers. They, they roll with motherfuckers. They, they do the wrestling shit. These motherfuckers? At some point, my nigga, if, and I've, I've said this multiple times, if we don't, say, all right, there's something wrong with this game. We need to restructure it. We need to start focusing on something else because it's, 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 it's like clockwork. You get on, you get murdered. It's that simple. If you ran through a list of the rappers that were killed in just 2020, fuck it, you can just do this month, just do, do June. The rappers that were killed in June and July, my nigga, you will be on top rappers, any rapper, just on any level. You'll be horrified. You would say that niggas are getting killed, obviously, because they're rappers, as if being a rapper is a is a a, a game that is rival to everybody. You know what I'm saying? They not Bloods, not Crips, not GD, not Vice Lords. They rappers. And no gang likes them. It's, it's all out war. As soon as you have that target on your back that you are a successful or you're about to be, you have the potential to be a successful rapper. You get your buzz up. Get some songs on the radio. Oh no, no my nigga. No, no, we gotta go with that bitch tonight. No, this, this fuck nigga think this shit a game. That nigga talking about us in them songs, bro. He talking about us, bro. Nigga calling us broken shit like we some hoes, bro. Fuck that shit. And niggas do be doing that shit. In your music, you be... Who the fuck are you talking to if you ain't talking to your op? Why wouldn't your ops think that you're making personal diss songs about them? They don't know that you're just making up imaginary words and shit like that just trying to make the shit sound good. When they hear it, nah, this nigga talking about me. I ain't no whole ass nigga. I'm about to go smoke this fuck nigga. And I've told y'all this before. A nigga will know that you bought that shit and make you kill him just so he don't have to see you shine. So you know a nigga goddamn put that shit in your life and go do life just so he don't gotta see you shine. Nigga find a million reasons to kill a fucking rapper, man. That song right there, that shit about me. And niggas he locked up with will believe that shit. Niggas ain't gonna just tell him to his face, nah, man, you were hating on that man. And the nigga that killed you, when you look at it, it's like the nigga that killed you 
is not, just look at any of the, it's not going to be a nigga of your stature. It's not going to be a rapper that got a hundred thousand, uh, a hundred thousand. Man, this nigga ain't going to have ten dollars. This going to be a broke nigga. Nigga ain't going to have shit. That's who going to come get you. So the trap, moreover, comes in when in order for you to prove that you a real street nigga like you say you is, you have to put your life in imminent fucking danger. You have to give all of the broke niggas, all of the niggas that's just surviving out this bitch that ain't got nothing but hate inside of them because they can't figure their shit out. And success just look like a, like, nigga, success itself is flexing on us. We don't give a fuck who's it that the success is on. We just hate the success. It's like fucking pheromones. And it just attracts all of the fucking miserable people. And one of those miserable people will be driven to the point to murder you. If you do not believe it, just look at any rapper getting killed in the last two years. It's not been niggas of their caliber. Some off-brand nigga motherfucker gotta tell you their name and shit. Who the fuck is this nigga? Felt like he had to do it. But you gotta stay around these motherfuckers. And if you can survive that gauntlet, if you can survive around these motherfuckers for long enough, then you can go to Hollywood. Or go at least to the suburbs of where you from. But because you won't evolve and elevate your mind and say, okay, I didn't did this street shit. I did this shit enough. I'm going to focus on where I'm going next, not on where the fuck I've been. It's in hindsight now. Every time we do in hindsight, that's us looking at one young black man has died so that the next young black man doesn't have to suffer the same fate. If you allow for these lessons to go in vain and fall on deaf ears, then we're just going to have to repeat the fucking process. There's no difference from Nipsey dying to XXX dying to Juice World dying to Dobe dying. Just go down the line. It's no difference. We're supposed to learn something from it. But because it's only those people hurting, Nipsey people hurting, and niggas, the whole world act like they hurt, but. How many rappers then died since then? You ain't learning from that. If we learn something from it, then we will be stepping back and saying, hey man, look, um, until we get this situation taken care of, until we find out exactly what's going on and, and make sure that there's, once we, once we rule the, the, the label, out of foul play, then we'll go down to jealousy, all this other shit. But I don't think it's no coincidence that rappers are dying at this fast a pace. It's changed the way that labels interact with them as far as it's changed the contracts to where a label might even give you a nice looking deal for a short period of time because they have sized you up the same way a nigga sized you up when y'all be in the in the cell uh you know and just wrapping up you know what i'm saying seeing who can slam who nigga size you the fuck up they sizing you up when you go in that room and do that goddamn dance on that table they already know your past what game you claim what issues you got with who 
What's your, your jail status, probation, parole? You have to have, you know, you know, that's a requirement. You gotta have dropped out of high school, come from a fucked up family. Those are requirements. But they got the doctors dressed up like executives in there too. And, and the doctor saying, oh yeah, main music? Go ahead and give them a nice one. It's not gonna live to see the end of it. Don't worry. Don't worry. The way that the way that the way that these people um, operate is, um, you know, in in their hood, they got a they got a, a nigga specialist. Yeah, um, he's not gonna leave his hood. We're pretty, he's not gonna leave his hood, and we're pretty sure that he's also going to do what they call flex on the other people that are in his hood extremely poor place. He's going to be the only one there with money. I give it four to six months, but he's not going to make it a year. I guarantee it. Okay, hey, we have a nice deal for you. We're going to just sign you for uh, a three single deal. Uh, one year. I'm going to give you uh, 20000 up front. They're going to take that goddamn single and take that bitch to the moon. Then they're going to take that 20000 and flex on niggas and do exactly what the label said he was like. He's in the rap trap. He won't be able to leave his hood. If he leaves his hood, everybody in the hood, that fuck, they don't even be around this bitch. This nigga can't even come back. So I gotta talk about that shit, man. Sada Baby just told T. Grizzly he can't come back to Detroit. We don't fuck with no niggas who can't come back to Detroit, nigga. Can't even come back. Like, how? Sada Baby is gonna die in Detroit. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, niggas are going to kill you. Your, 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 your swag is so aggressive and, and you know, hoes love that shit. And, and, and whole niggas are going, oh my God, niggas going to kill you. You stepping on toes. Niggas going to have to show you how gangster they is. But the way they're doing T Grizzly is the way that niggas get did. Niggas will tell you, you can't even come back to the hood just for you to come back. And then you get the young greatness just for stepping back in the hometown turf. If you would have still been an aspiring rapper, niggas would have passed right the fuck by you. Probably bought your fuck. The nigga who killed you would have probably bought your CD. The nigga who did murder you would have bought your fucking CD. You get on BET, niggas look at you like you got something. The hoes look at you like you got something. It's on fucking sight. You won't be able to come back home for a funeral. The pheromones. Success, it, 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 it lets off fucking pheromones. And it just angers niggas today. You know, in that your happiness. It sends off vibrations through the universe. Those happy vibrations anger the demons. So now the next person who rolls up, next person who popped the pill. Now they're going to say something crazy to you. They're going to think something crazy like, man, fuck that bitch ass nigga. That nigga got there and played my sister. Think I'm a hoe or something. Nigga, they either going to play with my sister like that. Ain't even his real sister. This is a bitch that he want to fuck for real. That will be his reasoning for coming to murder you. But if you don't stay in the hood, you ain't no real nigga. So now... You lose the hood support, and now you looking like T Grizzly. Look like it's old for T Grizzly. Like, what the fuck else can you do? Like, niggas don't want to hear you rap. Niggas wanted, niggas was fucking with you because it was 
Like, you, you brought the Detroit sound and, and shit like that, and now niggas ain't... Niggas out the city is gonna start coming for you. This was gonna happen. You leave to where niggas can't murder you, now here come the distance. You better understand, here comes the distance. Even though I feel like T. Grizzly did sign Sada Baby just so he could, you know, do, do that Jay-Z shit where you sign your fucking competition and shit. But still, there... These demons that are in these places where it's so much struggle and pain. People are stuck and can't move. They have no way to leave. You can feel it, dog. I felt it. When I would leave from, you know, Daphne and go to Mobile, you get, you know, to, you know, Pritchard, you get off the cop and bridge shit like that. You feel like you're in a different place. Like it's, it feels free, but it feels like that because it's like, nigga, weapons free. Like, nigga, this is it's a free fall out like this bitch. No one gives a fuck about no fucking body. The police not gonna pull you over, nigga. Ain't no little petty crime, nigga. This shit is really going down over this bitch. Like, so when the police get there, the crime gonna already be done. They're not preventing the fucking thing. They're just going to come and do the report. You're going to already be dead. So you have to go for what you know. It's a feeling. And that feeling that lets you know what, what's in the air is people are stuck, man. Depressed. Hard down depressed, man. The air is different. The air is different. I'm sure wherever you're at, if you go from the the the, the, the thick of the hood to out to where the suburb is, I'm sure you, the air is different, man. Because there's different vibrations. Though there may be depression, it ain't just all bunched up, just all concentrated depression and pain and people being stuck and struggling and having to do shit and... and uh, against their morals hate hating what life that they felt was this the cause that they were dealt in this is where you have these these crimes that seem senseless but they make sense at the time if you're under that demonic possession it'll make sense the demon will make the shit make sense to you to go eh, out the whole you finna you just end that bitch out. But you didn't kill two children and an old lady. And now you wake up to it. As you're in your, your cell and shit like that, you're in the jump, you wonder what the fuck going on. And that demon is over you laughing hysterically. Because he did his job. He stole any future that you may have had, any future that those children may have had, that was his whole purpose. And you allowed him to take you over and because you lost control when you rolled up that blunt. When you poured up that drink. When you popped that pill. You know that's not how you think. And and it, of course it's gonna be more for well, I don't get like that when I got that. And it, that, that's another one of the issues, like, people without goals, talking to people that would have goals. A lot of you motherfuckers who say that, oh, man, she, I, I ain't, she, that she don't do me like that, you gave your little cousin a first blunt at 12 years old, 16 years old. You were the one. Go on the Patreon and listen to Steve's story. Ask him how he got started on that path he was on. Man, my, my brother cousin, he was older than us, man, and he, he gave us a game. You using what works for, for you and shit like that in your... Um, being lost 
and your blindness, you lead these motherfuckers because they're young and they looking up to you. It's the same shit with, you know, bitches that know that they hate the fact that they got so many goddamn kids. They hate the fact that they had kids so early. They know how much that just really pulls them down. Not to say that you hate your fucking children, but let it be known how hard it is. Don't don't talk about how you know the baby dad ain't helping it. No, 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 no. You made a choice. If you would have never had a child at all, you could have had a whole different future. Let that be known. But in order to let that be known so that the, the young girls won't fall the same way you did, you would have to admit that you did something wrong. And a nothing ass bitch and a nothing ass nigga is not going to admit that what I did and or what I'm doing is wrong. You will find something wrong with everything else. And it, yeah, but for me, it's different. Look at what situation you in. You hate your fucking job, but you will never be able to leave it because of these anchors that you have. Tell the truth. You don't like the fact that you have to smoke a blunt every day. You can't stop smoking weed. You can't stop popping pills. You can't stop drinking. Stop minimizing. So that maybe the generation up under you will have a chance. But because everybody got their pride and all that shit like that, you can't tell a motherfucker that what you do is wrong. What you did was wrong. You wouldn't have done it like that if you had another chance. As these rappers continue to die, um... A nigga can't, oh man, R.I.P. man, shit like that. That shit, I was just with you, bro. Oh, man, that that lame ass shit. Oh man, bro, I was just, man, it's crazy, man. We were just in this. Everybody come, just vultures coming to pick at the bones. Did my time to shine. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna tell my boy when I was with Marlo, so everybody can look at me now. If motherfuckers care, if you care about any artist, if you care about the next artist that will be murdered, because there will be another one, as I continue to tell y'all, it's going to continue until we say, hold up, either we have a 30-day crime fast, which, which means we have to make crime uncool. Either we make crime uncool, or nigga, we ride with this shit. Nigga, the ops got, you know what I'm saying, they smoking Marlo pack. The fuck? Ain't that what this shit bought? That's a whole nother thing. Like niggas is like the fuck is niggas talking about? Like this is all the fuck that we ride to. You don't think that a rapper is somebody's ops? So it's cool when a rapper said and they killing the op that you don't know, but when the ops kill somebody you know, it's oh uh, man, the bullshit, man, these niggas chicken. What the fuck are you talking about? Nigga, if you with this murder shit, then that's what it is. Anybody can get it. What the fuck makes any ce a celebrity better than a mother? That, that's the whole, so nice. Are you serious? Oh, man. He get, what the fuck is crazy about it? If you believe him in his music, this nigga killed a lot of niggas. Take a rapper. He got murdered. He said he murdered plenty of niggas. What the? What's the? Man, that's some bullshit, man. These niggas. How the fuck is niggas tripping? If niggas is going out there handling their business like you claim that you want your artists to do, you don't want to fuck with no artists who leaves the hood. Niggas ain't gangster enough for you. Well, if you like gangsters. 
And it's not about how good you rap. Why wouldn't you like the niggas who murdered a rapper? Didn't they handle their business? Come on, man. How many fucking uh, 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 rappers have lines about shooting up cars and killing everybody in the motherfucker? But then when the shit happened to Young and Ace, it's, ah, oh, man, it's crazy, man. He mother... What in the fuck is niggas talking about? Like, that's how you project life? Like, you you believe that a rapper's life is more important than yours. How many R.I.P.s would the rapper have given you if you would have died in the street listening to his music? Nigga wouldn't even pull no lean out his cup for you. Yes, there is a fucking rap trap. Niggas get killed as soon as they become rappers, period, point blank. But what we not going to do is act like a celebrity's life is more important than a regular nigga life. That's why a crime fast is important. And making crime uncool is important. Because these niggas that's committing these murders don't even understand the time that they finna get. They don't even understand. They can't even comprehend. Niggas ain't even finna get numbers. They're gonna get letters. They can't even comprehend it. Niggas is thinking that uh, something finna happen. It's all play play. Niggas not in the right state of mind. And we champion that. Niggas stay high all the time. Niggas all. And then it's time to cry when niggas do some high shit. We champion niggas being gangster and shooting everything. And then when nigga kill a, a innocent uh child, it's oh uh, man, dog. I, I put a video on my uh on my um I did the full videos on the Patreon, but nigga pulled up and shot a nigga uh as he was walking his daughter. Oh man, that's fucked up, man. You don't do it like that, man. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? Every rapper you listen to says that they'll kill a motherfucker in front of anybody. And don't hit me with that, you know, uh, it's just art. No, it, it's definitely not that because you won't even listen to niggas who ain't really like that. You want niggas to be like that. I'm talking to the hood. Now I'm not talking to the, the pop. I'm talking to the hood. It's more about being authentic to you than it is about being a good rapper. So how in the fuck in the same breath? Stop being so fucking contradicting and such a fucking hypocrite. If you love that gangster shit, then love that gangster shit all the way around. The gangster shit come with innocent bystanders getting killed. And niggas getting killed in front of their fucking children. But now when you see it, it's a goddamn problem. And that's how you know that these motherfuckers is not on this shit. So as the rappers are trying to prove some shit to the people, they don't even understand that the people don't even want them to do the shit that they telling them to do. Though, if a rapper does kill a regular person, let's say Gucci Mane, uh, let's just say Gucci Mane, that's all good. It's all love. Shit, all, all around the world, it's all love. But what if that shit would have went the other way? That all that that whole Gucci Mane situation, that was all gang. It was all street. A bitch set a nigga up to get robbed. That's how the shit supposed to go. Niggas don't do what they supposed to do. Niggas who came in the house get killed. That's all street. Either way it would have went, it would have been all street. How we can't cry either way. If a nigga in the street, he's going to die. You leaving the hood says that you're no longer street. If you stay in the hood, it say that oh this nigga's still in the trenches. So if the nigga's still in the trenches, he can still get murdered. Man, get that nigga a salute, man, and keep moving. Street niggas is supposed to die. I don't. This, this it, that shit blow my mind, man. It blow my mind that niggas is still 
fascinated with with street niggas dying. It's fucked up, man. How's it fucked up? Nigga, in the street, you fair game for any reason. You might have just been in the way on some other shit. Nigga, I don't need no reason to murk no nigga in the street, nigga. You expendable like a motherfucker. Not no civilian, nigga. You a street nigga, nigga. Knock your fucking head off because I don't like the way you came outside. And it's gonna be all fair play. He died as he lived, as a street nigga. Niggas with that other shit, man. I don't know. I, don't, I ain't with, like, I'm not with that whole shit, man. Like, nigga, say what the fuck you mean and mean what you say. Nigga, is you for this death, murder, kill shit? Or is you not? If you with this shit, then it's all fair game. If you not, then stand over here and say, we need to do something about our young black men being murdered and then their death being fucking monetized. But until that takes place, this will continue. And I'm not going to get up here and speak every time a rapper gets killed. That's part of what this is. It's supposed to happen. It's the way the system was made to be. Labels do not want to cut checks, split checks, split the money with no motherfucking person that they deem unworthy. You're here for the entertainment. Make the song. Now go get killed. We take in all the fucking money. And until we start looking at it like that, nothing's gonna change. So, it is what it is, man. Make sure you go to the uh, Patreon uh, so you can see all those cool videos. I'm sleepy as fuck. Uh, go to Conseco's Rap School. Uh, all my artists, y'all know that the YouTube class is $9,000. dollars everybody who's taking their career serious enough. I uh, think we got like five new people since the July um, uh, shit started without the class being broken up in three parts. Um, that shit is on y'all. If you're trying to get unstuck, ain't no way other than the YouTube class. Play with it. Class will be $3,000 in a couple of months, so you handle your minute. But make sure you go to the cash out, PayPal, show love. Uh, we might be bringing back the uh, AO Nation uh donation conversation soon salute to everybody who continues to support and show love i'll see y'all in a minute love love